My Fisker Ocean One got an update. How it was handled by Fisker, how they done, how was the whole process? What changed? Is it a top or a flop? This is what you're going to discover in this video. So stay tuned. I'm Patrick. I'm your host for today. Welcome to Gentleman's World. All right, let's answer the first question. How was it organized from Fisker to give me an update? And I have to say that was very, very well done. A big compliment to the entire team here. Yeah. So due to the fact that I'm having a long, long we um, working day and I have over hours, they called me at 7.30 in the night, yeah, which is outstanding, especially when you're coming out from Germany where we don't have any service at all. Then secondly, they asked me, can you bring in the car to Munich, which is about 200 k's away from here, which I denied it because I have a job and I need to go there. And they said straightforward, it's not an issue at all. We pick it up by tomorrow. And as said, they've been there in time in the morning and two days later I got my car back. What I also observed within the entire Fisker crew yeah, is the excitement about, you know, like where they're walking for, for whom they're walking. They love the idea about the Fisker. Everybody is so ambitious, very nice. This is a big compliment I can take. It was not an issue for me at all to do it over the air, um, that it's not done over the air because it was really, really good organized. The next updates, by the way, for your information, being promised that they should be over the air. Guys, what do you think? Is this an outstanding service or is this something which is not unique or standard? Let me know in the comment field, you know, like I would be really interested what you think about. Coming to the most important thing. What are the updates about? What did I observe? The first thing I observed is the GPRS. GPRS was not so functional at the beginning because it didn't recognize traffic or you haven't seen, you know, like how much distance you can take with the battery. It was not accurate enough. But now I have to say they really changed it to an outstanding experience. Yeah, it's very lovely. Also, the funny thing is when they picked up my Fisker, I said, why we don't see, you know, like the routing in the small display in front of you. Hey, and this is done. So you have it on your big screen where it's get it rooted. And then you have it also on the tiny screen and you see, you know, like which lane you should take and stuff like that. So I have to say this totally improved. And the cool thing is, as I said in my other video, when we went to charging, it was very accurate. Yeah, we went, you know, like to the charging station and said, we're going to go there with 30% left. And guess what? What happened? It was straight spot on. That's really outstanding. Well done on this set. What is the second thing I observed? It's all about this tidy thing here. It's the key fob, yeah? Um, before the update, I always had an issue while I was going into the car that I needed to put it on the NFRC spot um, under the steering wheel. Um, it was quite annoying, I have to say, because sometimes you needed to push, you know, like the um, key fob here on the car. As you can see, now it's closing, yeah? Um, now it's everything functional, and that's really cool. I have to say, it still uses a lot of energy, um, but anyhow, it's great that you don't need to do it any manual. Everything works now. That's super with the key fob. Number three, what I observed, blind spot assistance. The blind spot assistant wasn't working so well at the beginning. Um, you don't have seen it in the mirror, or either it was like, um, you know, like just somehow going or not, yeah? Now it's really, really functional again, yeah? So you have it in the mirror, you have it on the small display that somebody is, you know, like next to you. And the cool thing is also when you're standing on a robot, yeah, on a light, then you see directly in the big display, also while driving, by the way, when somebody is passing through. And it's even give you a warning while you're standing that you should be carefully to open up the door. This is also a really cool gimmick, I have to say, and very well done. Number four. All the sensors work much more accurate now. I had, for example, an issue when I was driving back from work that I went up a little bit like the hill and it happened twice that the brakes jump in. Yeah? Um, that was a little bit like annoying or afraid. It was like that, that you come to a full stop, but it was breaking and then directly let it go again. Yeah. But I hear, for example, in a forum or in my comment that people been afraid of. So I can say in overall, yeah, all the sensors are much more accurate, as you can see also with the blind spot assistance and stuff like that. So this is a major, you know, like improvement. And I have to say, by the way, about safety, yeah, I feel totally safe in that car. Everything is really good. Improvement number five. The California mode. The California mode didn't work at the beginning. Um, it was not super annoying to me um, due to the fact that we had also a lot of rain. But now it's working perfectly after the update. And I have to say, 
the feeling to have a convertible car in that size, yeah, um, it's really outstanding, especially also when you have a hot summer day and you just like to get out when you go into the car, the hot air, you put in California mode and everyone works fine. So that's really cool now. Before we start with number six, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. It's free for you, but it helps me a lot. You know, like that I get shown on YouTube and I can build more content for you. But coming back to number six now, you can stream now in the car. Everything works. Yeah, You can go into YouTube. You can go into Amazon Prime. The only thing where we had an issue, but we don't know where it came from, it's Disney because it didn't took our pin. But everything works perfect. It's smooth. It's crystal clear. Really cool. Well done. And it works. It's so amusement to have it while you charge or when you stand somewhere. Number seven. You have no Wi-Fi in your car. And that's for free. It's not that it takes it from your mobile or somewhere else it's in the car so you can enjoy all the streaming and stuff like that and it works perfect you can even do a wi-fi spot with your car and the cool thing is for us europeans for example when we go cross border it's still connected to the internet so you don't need to take your provider and pay these high fees so you get it for free with the wi-fi from fisca that's really cool that's awesome thank you so much cool update so what do you think top of flop Maybe we should talk also about things still not working and they are maybe a little bit weird. Yeah, So you still can't connect your Fisker to your mobile, so you need to still use your key fob. For me, that's okay. I would like to have a good experience with that, but it's still not functional. And then there's something really weird, <laughs> I need to say, yeah, which I observed over the last days. Yeah, So when the car is standing more than 24 hours, the mirror is folding out. Yeah, So that's kind of weird. But in principle, I have to say, if Fisca keeps updating consistently like that, yeah, that it's outstanding. And I think for everybody of you guys ordered one or maybe like to order one, yeah, till you receive your car, you have a finished product, yeah. For me, it was from the beginning something which I always expected that is from a startup. And we kind of, you know, like Genie Picks, which they're trying to um, get, you know, like testings on. But I have to say, it's a lovely car. I love this car. I have seen comments that you guys been a little bit concerned about, you know, like, do you still like it? This was one of the comments I got. I love this car. This is one of the best cars I ever drove. Yeah, this is such well done when you're driving. The performance is really cool. So for me, I give it a big thumbs up. This is for me a really achievement. It's not a flop. It's definitely a top. Yeah. And there's something also I like to raise up here. Yeah. Thanks to the community. Yeah. As you can see, I'm posting also a lot of shorts. You guys telling me what you like to have. That's just cool. Keep the spirit alive. Keep us together. You know, like, let me know what I should do with the fiscal. Let me know what you like to see. There will be light shows and stuff like that coming. Of course, I, I hear what you're saying. I try to ev answer everything. And please stay tuned. And if you like to enjoy one of our other videos, which we're posting, yeah, take a short or take a longer one, whatever you like to. Subscribe and like my channel. Like always, it was a pleasure with you. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Vielen, vielen Dank. Macht's gut, bleibt gesund und wir sehen uns wieder.